Exodus chapter 5, verse 1 through 21. Afterward, Moses and Aaron went and said to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. But Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, and moreover, I will not let Israel go. Then they said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Please let us go a three days journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with a sword. But the king of Egypt said to them, Moses and Aaron, why do you take the people away from their work? Get back to your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land are now many, and you make them rest from the burdens. The same day Pharaoh commanded the taskmasters of the people and the foremen, You shall no longer give the people straw to make bricks, as in the past. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. But the number of bricks that they made in the past you shall impose on them. You shall by no means reduce it, for they are idle. Therefore they cry, Let us go and offer sacrifice to our God. Let heavier work be laid on the men, that they may labor at it, and pay no regard to lying words. So the taskmasters and the foremen of the people went out and said to the people, Thus says Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go and get your straw yourselves, wherever you can find it, but your work will not be reduced in the least. So the people were scattered throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble for straw. The taskmasters were urgent, saying, Complete your work, your daily task each day, as when there was straw. And the foremen of the people of Israel, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and were asked, Why have you not done all your tasks of making bricks today and yesterday as in the past? Then the foremen of the people of Israel came and cried to Pharaoh, Why do you treat your servants like this? No straw is given to your servants, yet they say to us, Make bricks. And behold, your servants are beaten, but the fault is in your own people. But he said, You're idle, you're idle. That is why you say, Let us go and sacrifice to the Lord. Go now and work. No straw will be given to you, but you must still deliver the same number of bricks. The foremen of the people of Israel saw that they were in trouble when they said, You shall by no means reduce your number of bricks, your daily task each day. They met Moses and Aaron, who were waiting for them, as they came out from Pharaoh. And they said to them, The Lord look on you and judge because you have made a stink in the sight of Pharaoh and his servants, and have put a sword in their hand to kill us. Rejection is something we often face in life, but perhaps never to the extent of Moses facing rejection of Pharaoh. Of the multiple rejections of Pharaoh, we see the first incidents today, and as we will find out, the first few rejections caused more uncertainty and doubt in the heart of Moses. In verse 1 through 5, Moses and Aaron approaches Pharaoh and asks for Pharaoh to let Israel go. In this first encounter, God is revealed to Pharaoh, but Pharaoh doesn't know who he is, nor does he care. Even though Moses warns Pharaoh of what would happen to them if he was to not obey the voice of the Lord, Pharaoh does not budge. Rather, Pharaoh makes the lives of Israelites more miserable than before. Because of the first rejection, in verse 6 through 14, we see Pharaoh commanding his officers to increase the workload of the Israelites. Pharaoh had interpreted Moses' message as a sign of laziness and was going to put his foot down by giving more work. With the increase of workload and unfair treatment, the leaders of the Israelites come before Pharaoh to make their case in verse 15 through 21. They asked Pharaoh to be reasonable, but Pharaoh's heart was hardened. He was adamant that the Israelites do extra work because of the request Moses and Aaron had made. When the Israelite leaders saw Moses and Aaron after the meeting, they were angry and downcast at Moses and Aaron because the situation was worse than before. When we live as the salt and light, the world will undoubtedly reject us. Luke chapter 10 verse 16 says, The one who hears you hears me, and the one who rejects you rejects me, and the one who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Just as God had foretold Moses of how Pharaoh will harden his heart until God takes away his firstborn, God reminds us that we will face trials and tribulations in this world for the sake of Christ. John 16.33 says, 
I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. We may face difficulties for the sake of Christ, but just as we see in the life of Moses of how God ultimately delivered his people through Moses, we can find encouragement and comfort knowing that God will ultimately fulfill his promise of salvation in our lives. As we meditate on today's passage, let us remind ourselves of the promise God gives us through his word and place our hope in his promises.